the crackdown on gun control had come to a screeching halt once Donald Trump took office, but that didn't stop Democrats from getting their way. Without warning, gun owners are now waking up to horrible news about their Second Amendment right which has just been incredibly infringed upon in a way that's beyond unconstitutional. To control people's right to their own safety and property is at the top of liberals' list of what's most important to them to regain some semblance of power. As such, they find any and every loophole they can to usurp citizens' rights that they don't like. Sneaky liberals plotted against Republicans and surprised everyone with what they were able to pass through the night, forcing law-abiding Americans into confiscation or face jail time. The old saying goes that nothing good happens after midnight and that's certainly the case as people are realizing what Oregon Governor Kate Brown has just signed into law. The tyrannical governor has just officially made weapons confiscation a reality for those who legally and rightfully purchased their weapons. Oregon Senate Bill 719 permits government officials to order the confiscation of guns, simply based off of hearsay evidence, according to Silence's consent. There is no actual evidence required to order this confiscation, and before the gun owner is even given a hearing. This detail of the bill also goes against citizens' 14th Amendment right, which grants Americans the right to a formal hearing before their property is seized. The anti-Second Amendment bill doesn't stop there as it aims to make it next to impossible for citizens whose guns were confiscated, to get them back. The process is rigorous as a law-abiding gun owner must take the issue to court, and like a criminal, prove that they are innocent. Since the weapons would have been ripped out of their possession without warning anyway, this could be an uphill battle to get it back. Second Amendment watchdogs at 2A News, explains the bill and the government's gross overreach. On Wednesday, Oregon Governor Kate Brown signed into law a Democrat-sponsored gun confiscation bill permitting Oregon judges to order guns to be confiscated under an extreme risk protection order, based on hearsay evidence, and before the gun owner is permitted a hearing to challenge the order. The law is based on Oregon Senate Bill 719 and was passed by Oregon Democrats despite widespread condemnation by constitutional scholars and gun rights groups. All but four Democratic senators voted in favor of the bill while every Republican senator but one voted against the bill. The sole token Republican voting for the bill, Senator Brian Bockwist, R. Dallas, Oregon, claimed the law would reduce veteran suicides, and it was under that noble-sounding purpose that Democrat legislators steamrolled the bill through the legislative process. Paul Phillips, president of Oregon Gun Owners, noted the hypocrisy in the underlying purpose of the bill. The bill, he says, will do little to prevent suicides. What it will actually do, under the guise of suicide prevention, is deprive Oregon gun owners of their legal rights under the Second Amendment. Gun confiscations, he says, will be based on hearsay evidence alone, and the firearm owner is not, even, privy to a fair trial. This comes less than two months after California enforced forfeiture on their law-abiding gun owners. Having started on July 1, 2017, Californians were forced once again to give up more of their Second Amendment right to the state thanks to the state's liberal leadership employing the use of fear-mongering to get their way once again. Citizens were asked to turn in their gun magazines that hold 10 rounds or more. They are asked to forfeit all of their magazines that hold over 10 rounds, to local law enforcement, an authorized gun dealer who might purchase them from the person or they can ship them to someone in a state that don't share similar laws. While the people of California are being forced to give up magazines that they spent their hard-earned money on and once legally purchased, the state is also not offering any compensation to those who comply with the law. Although the forfeiture is voluntary, because law enforcement also doesn't have the capital to search and seize the magazines, they are now criminal to own if and could lead to punishment if you're caught in possession of them. This is liberals' systematic and sneaky approach to total and complete gun control. If they take this right away step by step and piece by piece, as seems to be the case, it won't be long before this right granted Americans in the Constitution is totally erased. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel.